We start in a good day, Dr. Luckman. You're the only one I can recognize. Welcome, everybody. We start in about 10 minutes, 13 minutes.
Hey, John. Hey, Said. How are you doing? Fine. And you? Good. Good. Uh, this this is just a test webcast. You know, we. Uh, yeah, he he he. Uh, Jones has been doing these webcasts for a while from Africa. Yeah. Uh, he's really enthusiastic. And so I thought, let's do one right now. Let's try one today on, on the Glasgow scale, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, for, you know, mostly for students, obviously. Mm -hmm. But I'm glad you're here because I think I'm very excited. I think I discovered something on this platform that's going to improve it. Okay. And mm -hmm. it, it's using the co-host like you. Like when someone like you comes into the webcast, first of all, I make you co-host, which I'm going to do now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, you now, now as a co-host, you have privileges, which I didn't think you had. And let me show you what you can do. Okay. Mm. Go to the bottom of your screen. Uh, is there a closed caption feature there? Uh, no. On the bottom. It says, yeah, closed caption. Does it say? Mm. No. You have no. A re record, share screen, chat. Yes, the door. Uh, chat so in, in French, uh, participants uh, and uh, share. Okay. Close caption. It's full. Of... What else no. do you got? Read every, read everything on the bottom. That's uh, I'm on uh, the phone on my phone. Uh, oh, you're on your phone now. Oh, okay, okay. So no, okay. The, don't worry about it. Yeah, it's gonna be hard. <laughs> forget it. Forget it. <laughs> Yeah, it's too hard. It's too hard. Mm. So uh, for our webinar, I, I tell you, uh, I told you that uh, we have uh, a problem. A problem of the links. Okay, the it's, their, it, link it's their or... problem. It's their problem, uh, and because because it, we wouldn't have had so many people come in, and no one said anything. Uh, mm. No one said I had a hard time getting in. No, one, you know, I, believe me, I've had webcasts where I've given the bad link, uh, and not many people can come. And and uh, I don't know. It's possible that I posted a bad link in one place. Yes, it's, it's possible. Yeah. I did that because we have. Uh, I had. Uh, I have. Pro I had the problem with the links. Yeah. Okay, it's possible. And, yeah. and some and some neurosurgeon too uh, contact me uh, uh, and told me that they had uh, the same problem. So, yeah. uh, my friend Carl Do uh, had the same problem, but he took uh, the first uh, link for Dufour. Yeah, and it worked. Well, it'll get better. It'll, sometimes I, I make a mistake. I made in one post because I post in many places. Yes, but, yes, some, I some, but sometimes maybe mm -hmm. I, I didn't copy the right thing. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, okay. anyways, it worked mm -hmm. well. Now, listen, um, so we're going to uh, we got I would like to do these every two weeks. I, I don't know what you want to do. What do you want to do for, for the for the for the moment? So we have uh, um, uh, 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 some presentation like that, uh, that they are scheduled, uh, but after we uh, we will st uh, shift to uh, one presentation or the two weeks. Yeah, well, what do you? Th I, I think it's better that way, don't you? Yes, I think I think. Yeah, me, because it's me, too much. Because... Yeah, it's too much for you. It's too much. Yeah. It's, it's too much hurry, and you know. Mm. So just every two weeks, I think, is a good. Oh. And maybe we change it later. Maybe we make it. Hey, yes, yes, yes. We feel yes, comfortable. Let's. We feel comfortable. Let's make it every week. Mm. So, I want to know: uh, uh, Is it possible to to make uh, uh, a short video as uh, how I do it? Yeah, yeah, sure. Any, I, anything, to, anything you want to do, we can do anything. Yes. Like I, I, I start, uh, I will ask to all surgeons to send me videos where, 
with a high audience for one topic. I don't okay. know. Uh, Okay, for us, uh, uh, honorism, uh, uh, some some trick for students. Okay, we we can experiment like like yes, you know, like like do I'm it. doing right like I'm doing now. I, this yes. is a snap Zoom where where mm. he wants to do uh, very quickly the next day. He this last night he said to me, I want to do. One. I said, great, let's do one today. Yeah. So you know, I wanted to test. How what happens when I promote? How many people come when I only have one day? Uh, mm -hmm. But we can we can experiment with the platform. Mm -hmm. uh, what what he does, uh, and you know now that I'm seeing the co-host, now I'm hoping you know when you're on your desktop, maybe we can test it out. I'm hoping that the co-host can ask questions into the audience. Or can make comments? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like when yeah. someone's presenting, you can say, I don't agree with Dr. Bennett when he says this. Or see this link. Do you know what I mean? During the yeah. presentation, you can do that. You can, you yeah, can okay. which, which, which would be great for, for, I think, for the audience watching on the internet that gives them another, Ooh. some more information, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, and especially, so. especially from a neurosurgeon that can, you know that is listening to the talk and thinking mm -hmm. thinking and he can put his thoughts on the screen you the co-host can help enrich the educational experience yes yes sure it's interesting yes yeah it, 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 i think it can help and, and yes. he can participate in the in the yes, okay. by by adding his expertise mm. to so we can send the, we can send to to the next uh uh, present uh, present uh, or orator to uh, to complete uh, questions before well, what, whatever you want just set it up just set it up that's mm -hmm. the protocol okay. and how you want to do it and just let mm -hmm. me know uh, yeah we so Saturday you have a presentation oh, right you have it already scheduled well, I think that I, I I tell them not to send me a question and after me, I work the uh, on. I work on with you. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. that would be fine. That would be okay, fine. Okay, you. we'll talk. We'll talk later about that. So I gotta, okay. I gotta wonder where the speaker yes. is. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Jones, you're not here, right? Well, I don't know, Saeed. A student comes late to make a presentation. It's not a good sign. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, let, let me uh, let me check with him. He's pretty responsive usually on Facebook. Okay, everybody, the speaker is late. <laughs> Just wait, wait a, a second. Uh, maybe he had internet problems or something.
Yeah, well, you know, Saeed, while we're waiting, let me show you things, okay? While we're waiting for Jones to come. Are you there? You, maybe... you, you, you... Can you send yeah. a, 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 a new link to, to the presenter? Perhaps he had a problem to, to connect. Uh, no, he, he would have told me. Uh, I'm, okay. on, I, I'm on Facebook with him and uh, you know, okay. some, something's, got, something's going on. Uh, mm. He's got two links I see right in front of me. So unusual for Jones to be incommunicado. Okay. I'll just wait. We have a good webcast uh, Friday with Yuha. Yeah. Yeah, with Dr. The, Dr. Lane. Yeah, did you see Dr. Lanzino is going to speak from Mayo Clinic on how to present the paper, how to write a paper? You talk for next next week. Next Friday, this Friday, yeah. Yes. Okay. Where are you home? Where are you now, uh, Said? Uh, I don't know, You at the hospital? No? No, at home, at home. Oh, oh. oh here's Jones, here's Jones. Oh. <laughs> oh, good, good, good. Hello, Jones. Hello, Jones. Are you able to get me? Are you there? Yes, I'm there. Okay, I don't see your camera. Okay, I'm trying to put the camera. Okay. Okay, you okay? Okay. First, I'll introduce you, and then you can put whatever else you want on. Okay, Jones. There he is. That's okay. Nice background. Okay. Hey, Jones, it's good to see you. Nice to see you, Ben. Well, you you have an eminent eminent neurosurgeon from uh, from Reunion, uh, Said. I want you to meet Jones. Hi, John. Hi, Said. How are you? 
fine on you. <laughs> fine too. Uh, yeah, he's, oh, fine. he's fine. Do, he's fine. Do you speak French? Do you speak French? No. <laughs> yes. Well, I don't know. Do you, Jones? I don't know. Jones. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Do, do you speak French? Not yet. Not yet. Not okay. Yet. Okay. It's okay. Right. We have an hour. We have an hour. Wait. We yeah, yeah, we have we have a, we a webinar of French neurosurgery ground rounds with the John. Okay. We start um, about three uh, three weeks uh, and uh, it's work uh, nice. Uh, uh, so uh, if we are un interested to 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 participate to to participate to our webinar, uh, you are welcome. Well, even well, in he, English, even he, even he, in English, because we can uh, make tra uh, translation. <laughs> well, you know, okay. you, you know. Uh, well, I'll I'll tell about Jones when I introduce him, because uh, we've been mm -hmm. doing this for a long time. We did our first webinar, Jones, probably about six seven years ago, right? Yes. When you were a nurse at, at the clinic, I don't know if you're still a nurse at that clinic in Zambia. Yes. Uh, or Livingston. I don't know. Was it Livingston or? Yeah, it was in Livingstone. Oh, okay. We'll talk a little bit about that. Okay, let me let me just start right off. Okay, ten, and that, we'll make it like television. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good morning from Miami Beach. This is Dr. John Bennett of Neurosurgical TV. I have the honor of introducing Jones Muna. Uh, he's a health professional and medical writer, blogger from Zambia. I first ran into him. Uh, doing webcasts a long time ago, six years ago. We did an interview, actually, of him, and he went through his clinic and talked about it. Anyways, we're revisiting Jones, trying this new format of a snap Zoom. Because I'm talking to Zoom, uh, to, uh, I was talking to Jones last night. He says he's agreeable to doing a webcast. Let's do it tomorrow. So this is the first snap Zoom. Okay, Jones, welcome, and could you please say a few words about yourself and and uh, before you start? Thank you for coming. Okay, yes, um, as Dr. Bennett has put it, uh, my name is uh, Jones Amuna. Um, I'm from Zambia. That is where you find one of the seven wonders of the world, that is the Victoria Falls. Apart from the Victoria Falls, we have uh, the largest number of national parks with uh, animal population. Okay, and the Zambia has got uh, great people who are very peaceful. And uh, Western talks about Africa, they think Africa is not peaceful, but the Zambia is exceptionally peaceful. Yes, that is my introduction. Okay, very good. Uh, do you want to go on to your presentation? Okay, so my presentation uh, is on the Glasgow Coma Scale. And... Um, I'm going to put it more in a simplified division. Oh, excuse me, Joe. Excuse me, Jones. Uh, um, yes. I, I thought we were going to do uh, the uh, Glasgow Como scale. Yes. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to go on to another presentation. Okay. I'm sorry to interrupt. I'm sorry. Okay. So my presentation is on the Glasgow Coma scale. And um, talking about the Glasgow Coma scale, it... Um, assesses uh, the response of an individual to stimuli. Okay, so when it is assessing the response of an individual to stimuli, this is must be borne in mind for anyone who is doing an investigation. Okay, having a vector with patients that uh, need to be assessed and scored nicely on the Glasgow Coma Scale. I came up with uh, something that uh, to make it easy for someone to remember how to monitor using the Glasgow Coma Scale. Of course, uh, I'll not talk about the history of uh, the founder and the likes, but uh, I'll just try to appreciate uh, the lesson on, uh, on the Glasgow Coma Scale and what it entails. So the Glasgow Coma Scale necessarily looks at the, the person's uh, response to stimuli when they, their level of consciousness has been uh, altered. So it has got uh, three elements uh, that it looks at and uh, the elements have to do with, um, they have to do with um, the, 
person's uh, response to stimuli in terms of eye, voice, and motor response. Okay, so there is, that is eye. So now under eye, we have um, a mnemonic. If you watch Spanish uh, broadcasting, there is ESPN. Okay, so ESPN is a TV broadcast in Spain. So ESPN, I use it to remember um, to remember the four categories that are um, the four categories that are measured using Glasgow Coma Scale. Okay, so the scrolling uh, for the eyes has got a maximum of four. Whilst the scrolling for verbal response, that is to do with voice, has got the highest scrolling of five. And then motor response has the highest scrolling of six. Okay, so for the eye response, I remember it because when you put on glasses, you have four eyes. Okay, so you have four eyes, so it, the highest score is four. And then for verbal response, because this, the letter V is, uh, has got the highest score five. Okay, and uh, to remember the mnemonic here is just simply voice. Okay, so the mnemonic is just simply voice. Then there's motor response. Motor response is uh, now your friction and extension response. So this one has got the highest score, which is six. So when we add the highest score on each and every category, you get 15. So the highest score someone can score is 15. But not everyone can score 15 at each and every time because we are sometimes subconscious of some kind concentrating on other things. Okay, so we cannot 100% concentrate on one thing because sometimes our mind is switched off to other things. So now on eye response, the highest score is that when something comes within the room, the patient should be able to open their eyes spontaneously. So in the ESPN, ESPN mnemonic, that is, uh, that E is for eyes. So eyes open spontaneously. Okay, so when you hear some noise in the, in the room where you are, you would want to turn to the noise where it is coming from. So that is eye opening, eye opens spontaneously. Now in the unconscious patient, because of poor processing within the brain, you find that this is not happening because there's altered, uh, there's altered level of consciousness. So the eyes may not open spontaneously to any noise. So what will happen is that for the score of three, it will open because there is some noise, okay? Or it will open to speech. So in the ESPN, that is the S for speech. So it opens to noise, that is the speech. Okay, so now the last sense to go before someone dies is the sense of hearing. So we know that if at all there is some sound, the patient will respond. So the score will now be three. Okay, so now if all goes to the waste that the patient cannot respond uh, to, to noises, their eyes remain closed, then the next attempt to see how they are responding to their environment is uh, by inflicting some minor pain using a kind of pin or pinch. So when we do this and the patient opens their eyes, then uh, their response is to pain and their score will be two. Okay, so P in the ESPN is for the patient responding because of pain. Then um, the last one, EN is non-response or unresponsiveness. So unresponsiveness, this is for a patient who is in deep coma, okay? A patient who is in deep coma is not able to respond, so their score is one. So the minimum score, if the patient has scores one on each category, which are three, the minimum score will be three, okay? Because it will be score of one, 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 one on everything. Then we come to the score for the voice, verbal response. I'm saying that you have to spontaneously score on each and every category so that you score out of 15 for each and every patient. So for verbal response, uh, using voice, <clears throat> using voice, if patient is able to respond or to have a conversation, their score is that he, they will have an elegant voice. So it means they are oriented to time, person, and place. 
it's important during the orientation of patients to time and place, there are certain things that we cannot easily forget. That is the place where we are. Right now, I can easily respond, I'm in Zambia, I'm, in, I'm at home and the lights. So these are simple responses that the patient can easily tell you, okay, their name. Ask them their name, they should be able to respond. Okay, so this is for a patient who is oriented, the score will be five. Okay, so that is it, elegant voice and voice. Then uh, if at all they fail to respond to your question, they sound confused. So in the voice, P is for confused because what they are telling you is not making sense or necessarily they are not responding to the question that you are asking. So this patient is confused. What they are saying, you are able to get it, but they are saying something else. So this is a patient who is confused. You're asking them, what is your name? And then they start talking about the story of how they went to Miami Beach. So that becomes irrelevant at this time. So this is a patient who's, um, who is confused because they are not giving appropriate answers. So a score of three is inappropriate words. If patient has inappropriate words in the voice that is I, then the score will be three. Okay, so that is for inappropriate words coming in, and these words they might not be clear, but see, they are inappropriate. But they are words, but they are inappropriate. So these inappropriate words which come in, the score will be three. Okay, so now there sometimes they just make sounds, like sounds of animals. Okay, so here in Africa we have lions, we have a lot of animals, a variety. So if they make any sound of those these animals and the likes, they are just saying this is incomprehensible sound. Animals, they do communicate, they make that sound, but you cannot get that. So even here, the patient is making some incomprehensible sounds. Ah, ah, like that. So that is incomprehensible. So it means the score here will be two. Then if they are not able to respond at all, B, that is voiceless. The patient here, we are saying unresponsive or no response. So B is for voiceless. Okay, so now if you have scored the patient on this one, then you can go ahead and score the patient on the motor response. On motor response, here we are trying to measure your gently kind of flexion and extension. Here we are trying to see how you're able to flex yourself. So when you tell you lift your leg, if you're able to obey the command, you're able to lift your leg. So Score number six is for base command. Then the score number five is where a patient moves to localize pain. If you pinch a patient on one angle, they are able to localize pain. So, and so for this one, we use old Ben, not old Bennett, but old Ben. That is O L D B E N, old Ben. So O is for base command. Then L for score number five is localized pain. Okay, so if patient is able to localize pain, you give a score of five. Okay, so then D is the drawing away from pain in all pain. So if the patient is able to flex away from pain, from that the limb affected, they're able to flex away. Okay, because sometimes the patient may just move the other leg and not the necessarily the one which is involved. So if the patient is able to draw away, you give the score of four. Then uh, score number three and two, it has to do with the posture. So for score number three, abnormal flexion, which we call decorticate. This is an abnormal flexion after, after the assessment of the pain using of, of the patient using pain. Okay, then uh, two is abnormal <clears throat> extension. Abnormal extension here, you remember it as decelebrate. Decelebrate, this is where a patient puts their hands like on the chest, that is decelebrate. This is an abnormal, like, oh, abnormal, sorry, uh, decelebrate, the corticate, the flexion, so I cannot show it here because it's just showing my upper face, but I can always attach some photos. 
Okay, so there is the corticate, which is uh, abnormal flexion, the celebrate, which is abnormal extension. If at all the patient is not able to respond, then that becomes the unresponsiveness or non-response. Okay, so now here, what I, should we appreciate? What is my objective? My objective here is that when assessing a patient with traumatic brain injury, the nurse or the patient, the, the, the health personnel who is assessing should appreciate that a score of above 10, okay, to 13, that shows mild brain injury, okay? Then a score less than, let's say, the score of between 12 and 13, okay, or 11 and 13, that shows mild brain injury. But if the score is about 9 to 11, that would be mild to moderate. Now, that would be moderate. If there are some excuse, me, Jones, already, excuse me, Jones, do you have any yeah. charts? Do you have any charts to show? Uh, or, or slides to show on, on the uh, Glasgow. I thought I saw some yesterday when you were showing something. Okay, I don't know if I copy link if we, it will be able to show. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try it because okay. let's let's use the video. Otherwise, it's just a, like a like a podcast. I, I think it helps oh. understand if we can see things. Yeah. Even across the background of the video that I made. <clears throat> so I'm just trying to attach the. Uh, so, try. If, if it doesn't work, that's okay. That's all right. Oh, okay, okay. All right. So now I was trying to see. Okay. Let's try it. Let's try it. We're here to experiment and to learn. Okay, so I think on the charts here, I'm trying to. Okay. I'm pasting the link. Okay, okay, good. Okay, I'll get that and I'll screen share it, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's no problem. That's no problem. Just give me a second here. Okay, the screen share. Okay. Oh, okay. So can you see it okay? Yes, I can see it. Uh, do, do you, how do you advance it here? Is this the right slide to be at? Yes, this is the right slide, yes. Okay, okay. Onward. Okay, so I can continue. Can you see the uh, slide? Yes, I can see the slide. Okay. 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 Can so now, <clears throat> so on old Ben, we are on motor response. Old Ben, there is obeys commands, which gives the score of six. Then for the score of five, is a patient able to localize pain? Then uh, for the score, oh, then D is a uh, draws away from 10, and this is giving it uh, the score of uh, four. Then bend is bending. So now bending has to do with uh, posture. So abnormal flexion, we call it, in, uh, the medical term for this one is uh, decorticate. Then abnormal extension is a uh, decelebrate. Okay, so in the video, I'll try to share the link afterwards uh, from my YouTube. I tried to put in this posturing because if you see this in our patients, then uh, that is a sign that there is um, extensive brain damage and the score is likely to be less than eight. This abnormal posturing, if you see it, that's a sign of um, severe brain damage. Then the score of one is unresponsiveness. Okay, so now I want to now just give a summary as to why um, we are having this lecture and um, why these mnemonics that are used here, it makes it easier for people to make assessments is that when you, 
when you are scoring, it's not necessarily so much about the charts, but uh, you need, we need to appreciate what we are observing. Uh, many are a time, but uh, no students and practitioners, they try necessarily to regurgitate what is in the book, okay? But uh, it's important to have knowledge that it uh, transforms the way you see things and you can easily make uh, an observation. So immediately you're entering the room, okay? If you want to make assessment, you have to ensure that there's no noise so that uh, you observe the issue of eye opening, okay? When you want to make this assessment, and I'm uh, guessing you are doing this in ICU, okay? So there can be those squeaky noises that the door makes and the like. So you need to time your observation of the Glasgow Coma Scale to an instance where there are no noises so that you can uh, get the good reading. And then also the issue of uh, posturing. You need also to get this part, very, which is very, very important, as it shows, uh, as it shows extensive brain damage, and the likelihood that the patient is going into deep coma, hence uh, necessary and uh, necessary interventions can be done. Okay, so this has been my presentation. I can allow for questions, additions, and the likes. Okay, Sydney Jones, oh, yeah. we have. Okay, we're going to keep this short. Let's uh, ten more minutes. Okay. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Continue for 10 minutes, please. 10 minutes, okay. All right, so now maybe the other part also that I need to share is uh, in uh, emergency. Emergency, we have um, something that is similar to the Glasgow Coma Scale, but uh, we use the mnemonic AVUP, okay? So ADUP is that when you're assessing someone as a level response to, uh, to, to, to the environment and stimuli, first you need to assess the alertness of the individual. And if at all they're able to look in the direction from which the disturbance, okay? Now here yeah, the disturbance, we are calling it a stimuli. So you need to observe if at all they're able to look in the direction of the stimuli. So that is in an emergence, when attending for an emergence. Okay, then B, if the patient has not responded, you see if at all they are able now to respond to the noises, the calling, okay, before you touch the patient, you call on the patient, hello, hello, hi, the patient is able to. Then it does not necessarily need to be pain, but simple touch on the patient is enough to wake someone up who is unconscious. Okay, because even when you talk about consciousness, it has got labels. So just mere touch or tap on the shoulder, we can wake up the patient. Okay, so that is also a sign that the patient is responsive to pain as they are only responding to touch. Okay, so that touch, then the patient is responding. Then even if you touch the patient, the patient is not responding, then the patient is unresponsive. That would be a sign that the patient is in actually deep coma or the patient's level of consciousness is below eight. Okay, is that okay, Dr. Bennett? Yes, very good. Uh, okay, you take the slide off here. Okay, let me get it. Yeah, that was just a brief overview and we certainly can do more. Uh, okay. So I'd like to... Uh, Okay, anybody have any comments or questions or just want to introduce themselves? Uh, you know, Jones, this platform of Zoom, uh, people know what it is, uh, but they'll get more comfortable with time as far as interacting and asking questions and stuff. Uh, but I don't really push people to uh, participate. They were certainly welcome just to watch just to get an idea. Uh, now you've been broadcasting for a while. Uh, can you, and, and, and mostly in medicine, right? Yeah, I lost your voice there, uh, Jones. I think uh, you turn your audio off, okay. All right, 
Aha, there, I'm there, back. You go. there you go. There you go. Okay. Okay. So I have been uh, broadcasting, um, uh, teaching people or student lessons on simple techniques. Oh, okay. Very good. Okay. We yes. look forward. We look forward to your next webcast. We're gonna try to keep these short. We'll get better at the technology. And I'd like okay. to thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Jones. Okay, I'm sharing my channel. My channel there. Yeah? Okay. 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 We'll end this broadcast. Stay here, Jones. I'm just going to turn it off. Okay. Okay. We'll see you next time.